good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been a supply shortages in the quarantined households. Hmm. I'm gonna throw the I said throw the rubbish at the next door neighbor you trash with his taste music. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd feel okay probably putting the waste basket on his balcony. <laughs> um, well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has. Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind you all not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Wow. Good old misinformation. That's always scary. Um, should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. This presenter. I I don't have words for them. As I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to your next moving on to the next story. A brand new art museum will be back into unconsciousness. Look, honestly, I'm surprised that they weren't a bit more surprised about, like, the whole shooting people. I'm too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or, I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? You fucking let him talk, love. He's not making much sense. The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you. Don't lay and Ashley and... What? Man, the conversations are something. These are horrifying themselves. I had to think... I've had time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... Maybe... Jesus Christ, I hung up on him. Um, Fate beeping of a dropped call can be heard. Ah. Sorry. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you. Why is that? Well, dude, just got dumped, bitch. Fucking calm down. Back off. Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? She's true. Um, or because she found someone new. Because it's been a few months, buddy. How long have they been trapped in here? Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. There's a way of rubbing his face. I know, right? Jesus Christ, she's such a cow. Um, whatever you say, Ashley. Yeah, I think she might have, like, hurt his, like, feelings a little bit. Like, dude just got fucking dumped. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's fucking mean. There might have been something more tactful to say. No shit. Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Is it really pretending then? Um, now you've been out for a, who knows how long. Look, at least the place is clean now. Ish. You figure you should check on your brother. Uh, well, he was outside, just recently dumped on the fourth floor balcony. I can only imagine that being a great idea. You know? Fucking hell. What you doing, mate? Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Seeing the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Oh, it's fucking popo. That's it. Color me surprised. I actually got a person some help. The question is, how did they know that somebody actually needed help? I have some of my drink. Hold on. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have sirens blaring for a corpse. What if she turned? What if this is a zombie situation? What if... This, then what are we supposed to do? What is it? Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up for when you fainted. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, at least he's ripping back. 
Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm surprised like they don't have like any ability to call out to police or anything like that. Because I imagine that everybody trapped in this thing would be doing that like nearly nonstop. Maybe she went into labor or something. Fair. Yeah, maybe. I think they'd bring me food if I got... <laughs> I'm not saying... Nope. Don't. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? How do you think, boy? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. They still got that plank over my dead body. Look, sometimes people with hobbies are attractive. You know? <laughs> um, he seems a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. <laughs> Look, he sure is fuck going to bring a demon into the world one way or another. All right? It, how that happens... It's their business. They're fucking adults. Um, forget this. <laughs> Excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever. It's just a dumb thought. I heard a th I, th I heard somebody giggling then. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. And at least she had some tomato you know, canned tomatoes recently. After sleeping for a few hours, or maybe for a few days, who knows, she fully revitalized and bursting with energy. She don't look it, though. Like, sleep's only so good, you know? Oh, oh, she's, she's sluggish. She's so sluggish. All right, let's fucking go find him. I could, I could barely make her move. <laughs> I made it too, I moved, I moved her too much. <laughs> Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have I been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? That's a good fucking question. The dude has a lot of energy to spare. That's a damn good question. Let's go find out. I bet he's got food stash. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's unscrewed the lock and it's attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What's am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't bring you any food tonight. Are they actually going to bring up food, though? They won't either way. It says you, the lovely will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you won't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop banging. Is it better stop bang, bang, banging on the door or next I'll be banging on your head against the wall? Jesus. Although he's got to open up the door to do that. That's that's a gamble that starving people would genuinely probably take if they're, they're fast enough to maybe get away. Men's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Yeah, see, I would take that gamble too. I would, like, even if he was coming in for gun, there's two options there. If you're locked in in an unforeseeable future where you are starving, there's a chance that escaping or getting shot are both good answers to that resolve. So, yeah, unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see you did. And absolutely nothing was delivered. <laughs> Talk about something. Also, for anybody that hasn't been here before, I'm not usually this harsh about shit. Um, this is special. <laughs> I got nothing. Try. I like the fact that they got a rug. Is it parasites? I'm special. We're all special, Grim. That's why you guys are here. You're all special. You're my specials. Um, it's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Yeah, I completely forgot that his previous statement was so parasite. And so now I was like, the fuck is he talking about? It's been a few months. <laughs> Hunger. You'd think that, was it? You'd think something would be happening to us by now. You know, I have a question about this. Let's say that whatever the parasites are can potentially be starved out. If enough lack of nutrients happens for long enough, they die. 
let's say that's the situation and that's what the government's gambling with is that it's either um, either they let them get to the brink of starvation and the parasites die or the people die. Maybe that's what the situation is. I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? I mean, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you were care. Sweet Jesus woman, fucking. Aside from starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Yes, yeah, see? I fucking told you him going outside's a bad idea. I'll race you. <laughs> At least that made him happy. I hey, seriously, let's go. <laughs> let's not, though. I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Was it like fucking dying together situation, all right? Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. With such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory marsh, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up that they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Yeah, you know, I thought at first that this pair was twins. So if they would, if they had been twins, that would have made a lot more sense to me. Um, but I think they're actually a couple of years apart. That is pretty deep. As far as like they've been stuck in here for months, like that's a pretty solid way to like go out. At least you, at least you're forever leaving with somebody, you know. Um. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you if those are your plans for romance. Fuck. This girl needs to step off a little bit. Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Yeah, she's pretty savage. Like, she seems, like, at times pretty peppy. And then, like, at other times she's, like, she's just so mean. Oh, my God. This shit again. Romantic just means something is. The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. She's hang hangry. Yeah, you know what? She might be hangry. That's actually pretty fair. At this point, she might as well be, like, nibbling on, like, containers and stuff to, like, sedate that. Again, I wish you'd just... What the? <laughs> you feel like you should check up on that? Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> what was that? Fucking shook the whole place. What's what's going on in here? My lord, you've come. Hey, he finally got his shit down. He still didn't move that pentagram, though. And you're uh, a little smaller than I imagined. Dude... It could fuck you up in one hit. I'm certain of it. You really want to, like, insult its stature? <laughs> I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. Yeah, tiny demon's cute. What do you offer, human? I'm not doing the up and down fucking things, but I'll do it dramatic. Um, I, I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I could get you anything you wish. This is kind of true. Is that no good? As you wish, human. Ah, he loves it. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Mm-hmm. Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. Oof. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. Where did it go, though? On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Can can we get inside to like shut the music off at least? Like how that's my first concern is shutting the music up. <laughs> uh so um I was it am I already delirious or did you say that too? Do we uh do we wanna check on him? Well at the very least I wanna turn off the seat like yes! Thank you, Ashley. That's what you're concerned about? Yes! It's awful. I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. Well, it's got batteries. It will, lo it will run out eventually. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Yeah, that actually makes more sense. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. 
There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time. Yes, fucking smash grabs. <laughs> Shut up and let's get in there. My excitement is like too, too intense for this. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Really? Really? Cause, cause this thing, this thing, this thing, fucking doors unlocked now, bitch. And steal the coffee. Yeah, did you notice we have a coffee maker, Grim? First of all, let's shut this fucking thing up. Shut up. Ugh. So much better. So much better. What is in here? Because it's big enough to hide it. I love how my first priority is not to check on the dude. Uh, I probably should. Also, all the candles are burnt out completely. So, you know. Hey, mate. It's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. That's a, um, that's an interesting first perspective. It, shouldn't it be like... Is he alive? Because that would be my first perspective. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, is it still legal if we didn't kill the guy? Yes, apparently cannibalism is still legal regardless of if the person consents. That is a lot of human jerky. True. See, Grim's thinking long-term here. He's thinking long-term preservation. Although, you got to remember, they don't have salt to cure it. So they would have to have at least vinegar or something. What is illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? Isn't that what you were insinuating? No, I was just making an observation. Dude's got a lot of meat. Wink, wink. Fucking figure that one out for yourself. Ah, uh, but we can't. Uh, if we do eat him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted by what I just said. <laughs> is it? Cultus probably needs. What is it? Need shit and of salt for the ritual? Don't ask how I know. You know what? You're right, though. I bet there's a fuck ton of salt in every corner of this room. Um, then let's. That's it. Then that's it for us. Um, there's no way we won't get caught once he finally lets us out. Once they finally let us out. Sorry. I can fucking up everything. Um, but it's not like we killed the guy. But they don't know that, Ashley. I think. Just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Yes, it is. Uh, well, I think they should look at it. Does it look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat? You could just say the parasites compelled me. Let me have some of my drink, actually. Hold on. I love how this game is so fucking, like, conversationally warped. I like it. Well, the staff, was it, well, the staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though. I'm probably not. Um, rotting in jail. At least you get meals. I said before that, you're going to tell them a demon killed him? Really? They'll fly? Look, I just everybody pictured the aliens meme for a second and just replace the word aliens with parasites. Right? It's parasites. There you go. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. We are doing this and not. Wow, they didn't even check the guys alive, right? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Um, yeah? Alright then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Alright, well fucking cannibalism fucking time. No more fucking mopping floors and passing out. If I touch this thing again, does it turn back on? No. What about this book? Can I learn some shit? And the table sets a book titled Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Well, at least he's reading the premium edition. Is that now they did actually have a 665 volumes before this one? Or she asked the important question. She she is. So what I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place? Look, obviously the demons. Like how else are they going to get this shit published and, you know, access Earth? Undisclosed, the author must be shy. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Shy bastards always have the best stories. Um, well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Dude really wants to eat. What's in here? Is this a room? Bathroom smells of feces and he feels our inclination to investigate further. No, flush your toilet, mate. Flush your toilet. Fuck no. Jesus. I know that there's a knife there, but I'm going to rummage in your trash if I can. Oh, loot in the jacket's pocket, you find a wallet with 666.66 bucks inside. Oh, no. Now you've got a real moral dilemma here. Stealing dead man's wallet will you. Keep it all split with Andrew. Okay, this is my first choice. 
every decision in this game, every single one matters. Um, if I split it, it then becomes like a 3-3-3 three, three, three situation. Ow, that is my knuckles, which I think the threes are supposed to be like a witch's number or something. Instead of um, demonic. I keep it all to myself though. Like, what's, what's it going to matter? Let's split it with Andrew. There aren't you, sweetheart. Yeah, now we got half that. So I'll use some of mine to treat you something someday, maybe. Nice. Alright. Well, that was nice. Both the fridge and freezer are empty. Dude was just as hungry as us. Um, I was just thinking of something then. I can't fucking remember. <laughs> Thanks, Grim. Um, oh, the fucking 6 6 thing reminded me of the fucking general oh, yeah. scares you get on fucking Twitch and like prompts, right? I've got a cleaver. Yeah, let's go stab, stab, stab. We stab, stab. Actually, you know what I should have done is I should have saved it before I did that. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Come back here. I got items. Balcony key, batteries, cleaver. Let's save. I want to save over where I just like briefly loaded in to try to fucking set up this game. Let's save over that. Yeah, I want to save over that. Now that's auto. Okay, so there's an auto slot and then there's my spot. Cool. That's all I wanted to know. So, you got the arms. I'll handle the legs. Dude's a leg man. Um, first you chop... What's that? First you chop off the cultus. Does this matter? Um, okay, I'm going to try to remember some kind of religious stuff here. I know we've got like rules of like not talking about religion and stuff, but I think this like... Was it right hand of right arm of God or something is like is right hand good and left arm's devil or some shit? Go with left arm. I don't remember what right arm is. But I think right arm's supposed to be man and I think left arm's supposed to be um hell or some shit. You can damn well tell that I'm not fresh on any Bible. I did read one once. Next up is right arm, yeah, well, should be. I love how far apart she fucking threw that. I did actually read a Bible once, like the whole fucking thing from start to finish. Um, we can't carry him out in the open like this. Why not? As far as I could tell, nobody is outside of their fucking apartment. And even if they are looking, what are they going to do? They're going to call the police and say, hey, there's a guy like getting carted into another building in like pieces. Nobody's going to come. They've got parasites. And just be quick about it. No, can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. What? Why does he like being called Andy? Like, it, hand him the cleaver. I thought the whole point was that, like, he doesn't mind being called Andy. Because she goes by, like, Lele, I'm pretty sure. I keep going to call her Levy, though. Alright. Now, I saw some trash bags in that, like, bathroom earlier in here. It did say something about bodies. Ew. What's it? Honestly, I get him. I don't like my name's shortened either. No, I hate that shit as well. Like, um, my real name's very, very short. So I don't see the point in why people would shorten it. And it's like, I don't know, it feels too, like, close for me. But as a prolic, like, as far as I can tell, like, I get that a lot of people have a lot of problems, like, pronouncing it and shit, but never fucking call me April. It's not my name. It's a prolic. Got some plastic bags. What is it? Why not Shard? What? Oh, oh, Shad. Fucking don't call him Shad. Fucking hell, that's terrible. You put an R in there and you've got Shard, or you you can put a change the D to a T, you got Shat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shatter. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's even worse than my tune. <laughs> it's so much worse. Right, I'm pretty sure I think I picked up bags in amongst that. <laughs> Alright, you. Got a left arm. Got a left leg. Dude's busy. Got a right leg. Okay, got a right arm. Can I fit the whole body in here? Small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Who's making these bags so strong? The human body's like a lot of weight. I want these bin bags. Fuck that. So I hope it made you laugh a bit, Shudder. Look, I, I want these, like, fucking corpse disposal bags that can apparently fucking carry a whole goddamn human. My trash bags are weak as piss. 
That's it. Crap, I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Dude, you're not trying hard enough. Um, just fold him over. <laughs> that's your solution is just fold him over? I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. What has she been doing in her fucking spare time that she knows about this? I did, but damn you. <laughs> yeah, see, if anybody happens to be looking out the window, it'll be a disaster. Um... Okay, maybe if I use two bags. Listen, this isn't going to, to da. <laughs> Not the old baggie over the head. No. All right, now I understand where she's trying to fucking show off some fucking knowledge. Um, I was wondering when she's like, just watch and learn. And I'm like, what are you going to be teaching him? Um, look. At least he fucking giggles. Also, the hands behind the, like, the, the hiding behind the hands is fucking adorable. That's a lot of Tada moments. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, like, I'm just not that kind of, like, uh, I don't know. I'm not such a, like, ex super expressive person to be able to do the Tada stuff really expressive. So I find that really, like, a struggle. Like, what was it with the trick-or-treat one last week where every time they did, like, the teehees, I was, like, dying inside. <laughs> I'm like, this is awful and you guys loved it and I'm like don't make me tee -hee. <laughs> I can't <laughs> oh man god no no um don't make me laugh this oh man look after everything they've been through I think they have a right to fucking laugh even if it's morbid that's, that was so good oh my god grim <laughs> I don't have the power to make you do anything Andrew oh she's using her full name now all right all right enough my question is, does she prefer to go by Lele or Ashley? Because I haven't heard him specifically refer to her as anything. He hasn't said her name at all, I don't think. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in the outer freezer. Now, we actually did have a discussion about freezer capacity in Discord a little while ago for anybody that might be lurking. Um, I have a Discord. Obviously, it's generally safe for work, not this kind of shit. <laughs> but this this stuff's great. But we have had at least one discussion about the capacity of freezers and somebody needing to upgrade to be able to, like, you know, meet their serial murderer needs and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I did check out their freezer. Um, Ashley and Andrew's freezer looks like it could carry at least one person, maybe two if they got some extra capacity, maybe, maybe a person and a head. Uh, I think would do it. So I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. That's a good idea. Stuff it in their freezer. <laughs> hey, sugar monster. Yeah, I know, right? Some of the shit, some of the shit that we've talked about, especially tonight, has been wild. So then I'll cook us something while you're at it. All right. That's it. You can have the full ball cut. What's it? You can have the full ball cut up in the freezer. If it's a deep freezer, yeah, no, that's what we're talking about. It's a deep freezer. See, they've got a deep freezer, right? But somebody posted, I think it was Snipe posted a photo of his um, deep freezer, and that's what we were discussing. And I think Master Waffleton got on it, and I think Shadow and myself were like commenting on it and stuff. Is it then I'll go cook or something while you're at it? Yeah, so he's got a good idea here. He's going to use this guy's fridge for extra storage. And that way they can come out and, like, get bits and pieces later. You cook quite the, yeah, you'll cook quite the something. All right. Do you know what I learned today? Interesting facts. So I learned that the bigger the uh, creature, the faster the decomposition. So Andrew said he'll deal with this. Good. All right. Have I got stuff on me, though? Because I don't think I've got stuff on me. Was it? Yeah, and the fact that deep freezer was like in a garage. Yeah, whenever I see a deep freezer in a garage, my thoughts are always that. Like when people saw them outside, I often think like it'd be like dog food or something like that. But when it's in a garage, it's definitely bodies, a hundred percent bodies. You paste the severed limbs in the freezer. Dexter, you know I've never watched. I have a bit of drink because I've got choices here. Um, I have never watched Dexter. I've heard a lot about it. I know it's a murdering um, TV series, I think. Damn, what's, what a menu. I know, right? All right. Now, I think I've heard 
through the various fucked up shows that I watch that legs are the juicy part. All right? That's it, legs first. And I uh, see Grim knows. Yeah, we're going legs first. That's obvious. But you know what? It's right, right leg first, right? Right foot first. It was stepping out on the right leg. Which one do you want to eat? I want to eat that one. All right, time to cook. Yeah, all right. Let's get. Let's 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 start off on the right leg. <laughs> you frost me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be full of like shit jokes all night. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Yeah, but is that is, is Andrew though? Right. So what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what. Eat up. You first. Munch munch. Huh? What? You're already okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Look, 